The latest on the Chinese spy balloon. We are learning much more about its payload as search teams off the South Carolina coast gather debris from the balloon. Our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, has been tracking the story for us from Washington. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Robin. A senior U.S. official telling ABC News this morning that they believe they will be able to retrieve the entire payload, that part at the bottom of the balloon that was gathering intelligence. The official said it is damaged, but they are confident they can eventually piece it all together. This morning, recovery crews in the Atlantic scouring the wreckage field from the Chinese spy balloon for sensitive equipment, a debris field the size of more than 15 football fields by 15 football fields. ABC News confirming the first pieces of wreckage now at an FBI lab in Quantico. Saturday's shootdown of the balloon ending its week-long travel over the continental U.S., an F-22 fighter jet finally bringing it down just off the coast of South Carolina. Frank one, last one, the balloon is completely destroyed. An official telling ABC that the spy balloon had optical surveillance capabilities as well as the ability to intercept electronic transmissions. There were at least four previous attempts by China to send a spy balloon over the U.S., but those incursions, brief and off the U.S. coast, were not detected until sometime later, prompting this startling statement from the head of NORAD. It's my responsibility to detect threats to North America. I will tell you that we did not detect those threats, and that's a domain awareness gap that we have to figure out. An official also telling us they believe Chinese spy balloons have flown over more than 40 countries looking at military facilities. The administration says the U.S. was able to gather important information from this spy balloon as it transited the U.S., and they are certain they will be able to fully understand what it was up to when it is pieced together. The U.S. official told me that they believe the balloon had a self-destruct capability, and they're trying to figure out why the Chinese did not use it. One theory is that, like the Pentagon, the Chinese were concerned about destroying the balloon over land for fear there would be casualties on the ground. And there will be numerous classified briefings on the Hill today, with all senators briefed on Thursday. George? So many questions to be answered. Martha, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.